Tyler, this should be a very close contest as both of these teams are competing for sole possession of first place in the SCAC Empire Conference. It'll be interesting because this is James Oldewitt's first game with new head coach Keith Saplicki. Was drafted in the seventh round of the 1985 NBA draft by the Los Angeles Lakers. Later was the women's head coach at the University of Vermont. Then spent a few years with Syracuse University, a career 589 win percentage at the collegiate level. Literally no better choice you could find short of Steve Kerr to fill in for Coach Sweeney for the rest of this season. Some very tight play from the Red Rams defense, and Garino has it spin off the rim. Middleton has time and sinks it. You give Middleton any sort of time, and she'll take advantage of it, as she does again. Two baskets in less than 10 seconds. Maneri now tries underneath the net, and a little bit of reverse action makes it work. Her first two points of the day. And Payne weaves through a couple, and the basket finds its way home. A sensational layup for Victoria Payne. Wilson swings around, and a big block from Macy Durkin. And a great save, too. She put her body on the line for that one. It might be a little shaken up. Here's Payne. Durkin, no one there. Given all the time in the world, and she takes advantage of it. Macy Durkin electrifies the Red Ram faithful, but Kylie Carino puts them in their place. And Middleton is 7 for 7 on free throws tonight. 15 seconds left. Quickly out. And Ava Sandroni. That was great ball movement from the Rams. They need a lot more of that tonight. And Middleton puts up one more before the end of the half. In that first half, the Auburn Maroons were getting more freebies than me at the concession stand. <laughs> and Middleton gets it right back off of the mistake from Durkin. And Middleton barely has any balance, barely any view of the basket, and yet she still puts it up. What do you have to do to stop Leah Middleton? Sandroni might have a shot, tries to get a little bit closer, and she outfoxes Garino on her way to the net. Great body control there from Ava Sandroni. That was an impressive bucket against the 6'5 Garino. And Middleton double teamed, loses control to the delight of the bench. But they are not going to be happy about Lexi Alberici hitting her third three-pointer tonight. That is a new career high for her. The Auburn Maroons have never defeated the James Oldewitt Red Rams in girls basketball action. This is their eighth time that they have met. All streaks must come to an end eventually, otherwise it's not a streak, it's just a fact. And you know what else is a fact? That Ava Sandroni is the most electric player on James Oldewitt. She ties her career high of 15 points. She's almost keeping pace with Leah Middleton. Well, we cannot forget that the Red Rams are facing a lot of adversity. A new head coach, not having played in two weeks. And the knowledge that this game is for sole possession of first place in the conference, though it doesn't seem to phase Anaya Neal all that much. Obika to Withers. That's Withers. That was her first of the season. She was 0 for 17 coming into this contest. Channeling the shooting power from her older brother, Marshall the Sheriff Withers. Is it only fair to call Sadie the deputy? And Middleton puts up two more. She's up to 22 points. Just unfair. Baker... Withers from the corner, two in a row! And Sadie Withers, the deputy, is finally finding her mark, sharpshooting from beyond the arc. So much against the Red Rams tonight, and they powered through it. They didn't find a victory, but they found a lot to be happy about when they go back and watch this game back in the locker room. Have a very good night wherever you may be.